This is Hiring on All Cylinders. Live from HR Tech. Okay, HR Tech, spectacular news. Hiring on all cylinders returns to the airwaves from our cozy, cozy booth just outside Starbucks in between registration. And I am very excited for my current guest, Ian Siegel. He is a CEO of ZipRecruiter. Ian, thanks so much for being here. Pleasure to be here. Thanks for having me. How's the show going for you so far? This show is awesome. It is fascinating to come to HR Tech every year because it really is the barometer of what's happening in our industry. What's happening in our industry? <laughs> Great question. Uh, I think what I'm noticing this year more than in past years is the explosion of companies that are focused on benefits. That's definitely a theme. It seems like they have the biggest booths this year. Yep. You can always see where the dollars are flowing, and I strongly suspect that it has to do with the uh, Obamacare provisions that went into effect at the beginning of the year. And then the other thing I'm seeing is there seems to be a real focus on talent matching versus talent search, which is actually something that we ourselves are talking about at this show. And it is a logical evolution of what is happening and going to happen to recruiting. And I'm just surprised at the speed with which it seems to be happening. So I think from context clues, I can gather what talent matching is. But uh, forgive my ignorance. Will you want to put a circle around what you mean when you say talent matching? Sure. So you look at what's happening with job seeker behavior and a substantial percentage of it is happening on mobile. For example, on ZipRecruiter, two years ago, 51% of our traffic was on a mobile device or a tablet. Yep. And this year, it's up to 63%. Huh. And when you consider the form factor of that device, the limited screen real estate, what you have is an interface that is suboptimal for traditional search engines. So it behooves companies like ZipRecruiter or Indeed or LinkedIn or Glassdoor to get really good at what I call job matching. And that means using clues from the user's behavior in terms of how they engage with your site, or even better yet, looking at the uh, jobs they've applied to in the past, or even best yet, extracting information from their resumes that they provide you, serving up just right jobs for them, trying to hit the bullseye with suggestions rather than asking them to browse their way to find the jobs that might be a good fit for them. So it's more of a smarter, like almost marketing retargeting approach to finding the people who are coming to your careers page, coming to your website and engaging them in a relevant way. I, I think I would say it even more simply than that, which is when you're on a cell phone, you really want to be looking at one job at a time. You don't want to be looking at 20 results at a time. Right. And so the experience of job seeking for a job seeker becomes more like Tinder than it does like uh, searching Google. Yep. And... Therefore, the companies that are going to win in that paradigm are companies that have the best ability to match a job seeker to just right jobs. And on the flip side, for employers, this presents a really intriguing opportunity because suddenly you have the opportunity to be presented in front of a job seeker um, where you are the only job they are looking at. And then it's on you to start doing things to spruce up how enticing that opportunity looks to that job seeker. And so whether that's some combination of images and video, whether that's focusing more on workplace marketing, whether that's better structuring your job ad to put information the job seeker cares about at the top, like benefits and salary or um, nearby restaurants, whatever it may be, it's an interesting time because I think the whole paradigm around how we display information and how job seekers ingest that information is rapidly changing. Absolutely. And you were saying this strikes the whole talent matching versus talent searching strikes a chord with something ZipRecruiter is working on, excuse me, ZipRecruiter is working on right now? 100%. So for the first five years that we were in business, ZipRecruiter was entirely focused on volume. All we were trying to do was send more and more candidates to every job posted on our site. And about a year and a half ago, we got obsessed with quality because we realized that when we send 30 candidates, people really appreciate it. When we send 40 or 50 candidates, it starts to feel like work. It starts right. to feel like a fire hose. There's a diminishing return in terms of the value and appreciation employers put on that. So we started focusing on quality and the way we do it is simple. The second a job is posted on ZipRecruiter, we now take that job and we match it against the 10 million plus active job seekers with resumes on file. 
and we find the best possible matches we can, and we instantly notify those job seekers that that job went online and they're a fit. They're looking at one job that we are telling them is just right for them, and therefore they are applying with really high frequency to that job we show them. Yes. And the really cool thing is that we're getting validation from the employers that we're doing a good job with the matching because we have this simple thumbs up, thumbs down feature on our site. And we can see that when we send these cherry picked matches to employers, they're rating them thumbs up 40% more often than they are all the other candidates that we send. And so in the same way on your mobile phone, you want to look at one job at a time versus a traditional search engine view on ZipRecruiter now, instead of viewing all the candidates available or all the jobs available, depending on which side of the interview table you're on, you're getting a very curated one kind of result that's much, much more hyper relevant to you. So job seekers are definitely getting more curated results. We're all about curation, whether it's a daily email where we take hundreds of different job sites and find just the right jobs for a job seeker from all those different sites to send them the 10 best matches for them, or whether it's an even more hyper focused single job at a time that we send them and say, no, this one in particular, you're particularly well suited for. That's the job seeker experience. On the employer side, what they're getting is what I call velocity and quality. Almost immediately after they post a job, they're starting to see candidates come in. And these candidates are closer to the bullseye than any candidates we've ever sent. I love it. Forget volume, get a closer match. Talent matching is the future. Ian, thank you so much for being here. This has been great. Thank you so much for having me.